Okay, so welcome back to another video. In today's video, we want to calculate um, the derivative of wx and the indefinite integral of wx. So of course, what is w of x? Um, so w of x it actually has a special name. Well, there's really three names to this, if you want to call it. Um, the common name for wx is actually known as the Lambert w function, or it's also known as the product log function or the omega function. And that says that it's defined such that it is the inverse of the function x um, times e to the power x. Now, I'm not really going to go over too much of the information because really this whole, the whole point of this video is just to calculate these two, um, the derivative and the integral. But some things to um, note is that the, the Lambert W relation, it cannot be expressed in um, elementary um, terms. So, but what's, um, well, really elementary functions specifically. Uh, but another thing that's um, interesting is that um, the, f the applications that uses the Lambert W function, so it's actually used in combinatorics, um, specifically for like the enumerations of trees, um, even in, um, especially in biochemistry, specifically, in particular, the um, enzyme kinetics, which course I'm also reading this for the information it's an open form solution for the time course kinetics analysis of Michaelis um, Menten kinetics and of course that's described in terms of the Lambert W function um, so it's also used to solve various equations involving you know exponentials some examples in can include the maxima of the Planck uh, Boyce Einstein and Fermi Dirac distributions and of course this also occurs in um, in the solutions of delayed differential equations, specifically in the form of uh, y, y prime of t is equal to a times uh, y of t minus 1 in that form. So those are just some interesting things to note here, but really the whole point is just to calculate these two, um, the derivative and the integral. We'll start off with the derivative. Really, um, the way we do this is, of course, um, now there's been of a misconception they think um, a lot of people will say is that w of x is equal to x times e to the power x. That's not true since we are saying that um, this is the inverse. So really, the way we write this is that if it's the inverse, so that means x is actually equal to w x, then multiply with e to the w x. Okay. So we just use this definition of um, that inverse, but now that comes out nice because simply um, what I want to do is I can actually, um, when we're actually trying to solve for the derivative, the strategy here is that I can actually differentiate both sides of the equation in respect to x, obviously. So of course, if I um, differentiate the left side, that's going to equal one. And then if you differentiate the right side, so you would actually notice that we, we actually have to use the product rule. So in this case, um, so this is w prime x, then times e to the w x. Then we add this with, so let's see, so that's just says this w, but then this is the times the derivative of e to the w x, which is just w prime x, then times e to the w x. What I can do is, um, now this is, simple because you know d dx w x is can this the same thing as w prime x so if we're trying to solve the derivative we want w prime x on its own so now this is just literally i can just factor out a w prime x from both sides of the equation so then we have e w x um and then plus w x e w x like so but now, what's nice is that um, if we have an e to the wx, we can actually simplify this further, uh, really. If I, if I want to, I can just divide this, exp this um, expression here to both sides, but let's actually like simplify some things out. Uh, I can actually write e to the wx as, um, and set that equality equal to x divided by wx. So this way we have w prime x, that's equal, or excuse me, um, that's supposed to be multiply. So this is, this is still be one and then W prime X, then um, X to the W X divided by W X. Then, um, so um, E to the W X, so we said that this is this. 
multiply by wx, then this is just the wx cancel, so it's just plus x. All right, and now I can actually just divide this by both sides of the equation. So this way we have w prime x is equal to uh, one and then divided by x wx and then plus x. And if we want to, we can actually can um, simplify the denominator. So this way, we could just write this in a way of having a common denominator. It's just equal to, let's see, one. And then, um, so that means x plus wx, um, then, well, times x, and then divide by wx. And this is other division, I can just um, flip the reciprocal. So therefore, w prime x is actually just equal to wx, then divide by um, x plus wx, then times x. Or how about this? Let me actually just move the um, x in front of the w. So x plus x, or no, no, that, that's right, uh, wx. Okay. So therefore, we have shown that. Oh, one sec. Now we have shown that the derivative of um, wx is is strict is equal to the following. I don't know why I said strictly for some reason. It's supposed to be equal to this. All right. So that's one down. So we solved the derivative. So now the next thing, and then the last thing, of course, really, what we want to do is actually calculate this indefinite integral of the Lambert w function. So let's actually switch to new uh, marker. Um, the, in, the indefinite integral of uh, w, wx dx. All right, so how do we do this? Let's actually uh, do a u substitution. So what I'll do is, well, I'll, I'll actually call this t. So we let t equals wx, right? Okay, um, in other words, well, we know that x is equal to uh, wx then e times wx, all right? So that means we would have that, that would have to be in other words that if we just replace all the wx's with t, so that means e is equal to t times e to the power t, okay? And then we can just um, differentiate both sides. So this means dx is equal to, so we would use the product rule for this. Um, that means this is just e to the t and then plus t times e to the t dt. And so now we have the new integral, so we replace the wx with t, then replace our dx with over here, so we have uh, et, then plus t, e to the power t, then dt. All right, cool. Now, I can just distribute, um, well, not really distribute, but really factor out the um, e to the power t. So t, then t plus one, then times e to the t dt. And then, well, now really I can say that I can just distribute the t into our t plus one. So let's see, t squared plus t uh, e to the t dt. Okay, so now you see that um, we can actually do a um, integration by parts method. So, drop my marker, my bad. Um, so what I can do is I'll just let u equals I'll let u equals, we, so we want to choose something that's easier to differentiate and, 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 other, and dv be something easier to integrate. So u is equal to t squared plus t, uh, du is equal to 2t plus 1 uh, dt, all right? Then dv is equal to e to the power t dt, then integrate that, that's v is equal to e to the t, okay? So now we just substitute the pieces together. So u times v minus the integral of um, v du. So let's see, so e to the t, then uh, was it t squared plus t, then subtract with the integral of, um, so v dv, so let's see, e to the t, then multiply by 2t plus one, and then dt, okay. Okay, so now you see that, again, we have to calculate this indefinite integral, so do it again a second time, do integration by parts. So this time, let's call this, um, I'll call this S, or really R. Yeah, R and S is better. So I'll let R, we'll let that equal to, uh, to something that's easier to integrate, so 2t plus 1, then dr is equal to 2 uh, dt, 
and then something we want to use for ds is equal to e to the t dt integrate that s is equal to e to the t so now we could just again solve the piece and put plug in our pieces together so let's see e to the t then t square plus t subtract i'm put a open uh put up brackets since this is dealing with this integral specifically uh plug in our stuff together so this is e to the t then 2t plus 1 and then subtract that with the um s times dr so et and then times 2 dt um you can easily see that just to integrate that that's easy you're going to get the same thing it's just um 2 et minus 2 et okay and then of course plus c since this is our um indefinite integral so um we're almost there uh really well, really the whole point is that I can just substitute T back with um, WX, but let's make things a little um, nice and clean by um, simplifying some stuff out. So now um, notice that each of the terms from here, they have an e, e to the power T, so I can factor that out. So we have that, let's see, this is just T squared plus T, um, that's a minus, so minus two T plus one. And then distribute the negative over here so that's a positive so then this will be a plus two okay plus c then we just combine our terms over here so we have that this is e to the t so we have e to the t um okay so t squared is fine on its own then we had plus t then minus 2t so this is negative t and then uh minus one then plus two then that's a positive one then plus C. Now again, um, substitute everything back for W of X. So we, in this case, we have E to the W X, but I can actually just use that relationship what we had earlier is that that's equal to X divided by W X. Um, okay, W X, then this is distributed. So W X squared, then minus, oops, that's a minus right here. Minus W X and then plus one plus C. And now just um, distribute everything back in. So um, let's see, this is just the cancel. So it's just X times W, Lambert W, um, then minus, let's see, yeah, that's an X and then plus, um, yeah, and then minus X and then plus X divided by uh, Lambert W and then plus C. Okay, and there we have it. That's our um, indefinite, the indefinite integral of the Lambert W is X times Lambert W minus X then plus X divided by Lambert W plus C. All right, so we have um, verified the following, we're well, not really verified, but really we've sh uh, shown that the derivative is equal to Lambert W divided by X plus X times Lambert W. And then the indefinite integral of Lambert W dx is x times lambert w minus x plus x divided by lambert w plus c yeah uh so yeah uh that's uh pretty cool if you ask me